Hey guys, Tyler from Chrome Squad here. Today I'm going to be showing some of the basics of the new Google Sites program. This first video will be going over what all the different buttons in the new uh, interface does, and then I will have a second video talking about how to use all these buttons to actually make your own website. So as you can see, I'm currently on the old version of Google Sites, um, which many of you might have used before. But to get to the new version of Google Sites, just go onto the old one and click this button right here, and it will take you directly to the new Google Sites. Now, once you're on the new Google Sites, you can click this button in the bottom left corner, and it will take you back to the old Google Sites if you prefer using that. So let's just take a look around the home page for a second. So currently, I do not have any actual sites created, but if you look up here, there are some different options for sorting your sites, kind of like all the other G Suite programs. Another feature that's been added to the new Google Sites that was not in the classic Google Sites is as soon as you create a site, it will automatically be saved into your drive so you can uh, more easily access it from there. So before I start showing you anything, I need to actually make a site to show you. So if I click this uh, red plus button in the bottom right corner, it's going to make a site. So here's what the page is going to look like after you start a new site. So let's just take a look at all the different things that we can do from this page. So in the top left, we have the Google Sites icon, which will take us directly back to the home page. We also have a pre-done text box at the top of our site so that we can give it a title. And we also have a title for the full site up here. So when you're viewing all of your sites on the home page, you can look at the different titles and even sort them by name. So on this right side here is the toolbar. Now the toolbar is going to host all of the buttons that uh, are going to help you actually create this website. Up top we have another smaller toolbar which has an undo and a redo button. We also have this button right here which will let us preview the site in full screen mode as if it was an actual website. And we also have a button to add collaborators to the project to help uh, work on the site. This final button up top is the publish button. Now this is what you're going to use when you're actually done creating your site, but we'll look at that a little more in the second video once we actually make a full site. On the far right side we have our editing menu which has three different tabs. The insert tab has most of the functions in the program and it allows you to insert stuff into your web page. You can embed videos or insert documents or embed images, all kinds of stuff. So let's just look at all the different buttons and see what they do. So these four main options up here are ones that you're going to be using a lot. You can create a text box, insert an image, embed a URL, or upload any file from your computer. You can also access all of your files from Drive using these two buttons right here. You also have options to embed a YouTube video, a calendar, or even a map. Now these are going to go through Google Calendar and Google Maps respectively. And finally we have the ability to upload any document from the other 5G Suite programs. So we can upload a Google Doc, a Google Slides presentation, a Google Sheet, a Google Form, or even a Google Chart. So on the second tab, we're able to view all the pages that we have created and create new pages. And the final tab allows us to choose a theme for our site. So that is a quick overview of all the different buttons in the new Google Sites so that you know how to use them. The next video will be a full tutorial on how to actually create and publish a website. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video.